Okay, boys and girls, here's the next lesson. After we have perimeter, we're now going to deal with um, area. And so we're looking at rectangles that have the same area. Now remember, the area is the space inside of a shape. So here we have a square that has a perimeter of one, two, three, four four centimeters, but it has an area of one centimeter cubed, or sorry, one centimeter squared. So we're dealing with the space inside. We'll also talk about perimeter as well, though. So here we have a question. Um, and we're going to use the smart board to solve it. It asks, uh, tells us the Magic Carpet Store has donated, I'm going to say, um, let's say 24. 24 congruent, which means the same size, squares of carpeting uh, to Mrs. Hannibal's grade five class. And the students plan to place these square carpets together to make a large rectangular carpet for the reading book. So what we have to do, it tells us below, is use these squares and find all the possible rectangles that the class can make and then draw them on grid paper and record the measurements on a table. So we're going to draw them on this, we're going to create them on this and then record the measurements here. So um, there are 24 square carpets. So here's one square carpet, two, three, Four, this will take some time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, tw nice see why I used 24 instead of 36, 21, 22, 23, just managed to squeeze it in there, and 24. So we've got 20, our area, the area here is 24 square carpets. What's the perimeter? One. One, well it's one wide and how long is it? One, sorry, one, two, three, well, what, 24 long, right? So it's one wide and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two hundred, eighteen, twenty-four. Twenty-four 24. 24 long, which means it's 24 long on this side and it's one wide over here. So let's record that on our chart. Uh, the length is 24. The width is 1. What's its perimeter? Well, I have to go back and have a look. The perimeter would be 24 plus 24 plus 1 plus 1. I've got the 24 plus the 24 plus the 1 here and the 1 width over here. So that's 8, 9, 10. Put in a 0 to the 1. 2, 4, and 1 is 5. So the perimeter is 50. And the area was 24, let's say, well, we'll just say meters squared. We'll pretend each one's a meter. Now, can we make another one using 24 carpet squares? Well, we can. We'll go 1, 2. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cheat here a little bit is I'm going to group these, uh, group them, where do I group them, right there, group them, and I'm just going to make them, a, I'm going to uh, infinite clone. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, 22, 24. So again, I've got 24 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my area is still 24. Let's see meters squared. But my perimeter is different. My perimeter is 2 there, 2 there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 there and 12 there. So my perimeter is, I'll do it a different color, <laughs> is 12 plus 12 plus 2 plus 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2. My perimeter now is 28, whereas the first one was 50. Wow, that's a huge difference. So my length was 12. My width is 2. My perimeter, oh, I forgot what it is already. My perimeter was 28. Let's call it meters. And my area is still 24 meters squared. So my area hasn't changed. This hasn't changed here. Still the same amount of carpet being used. Okay, let's try another one. So 28, 24 carpet squares. We're going to try making them into a width of three now. Okay, we did a width of one for the first one, a width of two for the second one, a width of three. Now I'm just going to uh, group those, make it a little bit faster for myself. And then I'm going to infinite clone them. So I've got three. Plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24. So my area is still the same. It's still 24 meters squared. But now let's look at my perimeter. 3 plus 3 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 8, plus 8. So my perimeter is going to be 8 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3. Let's do it over here. 8, 8, 3, 3. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 3 is 19, plus 3 is 22. So my perimeter is a lot smaller. I've gone from 50 to 28, now to 22. Let's draw that in. My length is 8, my width is 3, my perimeter is 22 metres, and my area is still the same, 24 metres squared. So my area is staying the same, my perimeter is changing. Let's make another rectangle with 24. This time I'm going to make it how wide? That's right, 4. I'll make it 4 wide now. So I'll make my, my width of 4. I'll group them all together, and then I'll infinite clone them. So I've got 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. So, again, my area, the, num the number of squares I have here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. The area is still 24 metres squared, but my perimeter is changing. I've got 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. So 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6. Well, 6 and 4 is 10. 6 and 4 is 10, so I've got 20. So now my perimeter has gone to 20. So look, I've gone from a perimeter of 50 to a perimeter of 28 to a perimeter of 22 to a perimeter of 20. Yet all of these rectangles have the same area. Oops. They all have an area of 24. But depending on how I use those squares, it changes the perimeter. So my last one, length of 6, width of 4, Perimeter of 20 meters, area of 24. I can't make any more rectangles because I can't make one that's five with, because five times, I can't do five times something like 24. I can do a six one, but the six one would be this one here, you see? Six times four. It would just be turned a different way. So we can have rectangles have the same space inside 
which is shown here, but a different perimeter going around them. And we see that example here. Here, each of these rectangles has an area of 16 centimeters squared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This rectangle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. And then this rectangle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All of them have an area of sixteen, but the distance around them is different. This one has a perimeter of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Perimeter 34. The second one has a perimeter of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the last one has a perimeter of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, perimeter 16. And so it tells us here. The rectangle that is a more square in shape will have the least perimeter. The rectangle that is narrow, that has a width of one, will have the greatest perimeter. So whenever I make these rectangles, I always start with the width of one and then go to the width of two. And then if I can't do a width of three, do a width of four and so on. Um, okay, so... What you're going to do now is you're going to work on your practice page, okay? The challenge page on quest on rectangles are the same area but different perimeter.